back Yonke family, it's Miss Yonke and today we're gonna have a special type of video. We're gonna be doing a little parent talk podcast type of video. So pretty much we're gonna be talking about our parent experience from my point of view, from Mr. Yonke's point of view and just how we're doing together, a little update of our three months of being parents and just tips and advice that we wanna share with you guys and how it's going. So let's get started. Pero primero, baby has to burp. Well, guys, we are back, and today I have baby Yonke right here trying to feed him. Guys, this is one of the <laughs> this is one of the bigger struggles of being a new parent. Is just trying to find a comfy spot for him to eat because this guy doesn't get comfy. Like I'm trying to just hold him right here, all nice and comfy, but he like finds me. Look at this. It's okay, puppy. He's just fussy because he's teething right now. He also keeps looking that way, like, bro. He loves, like, if I'm he hears over, a noise, he's gonna look. I'm over here, buddy, I'm over here. Okay, Yonke family, so we asked you guys to ask us some questions on Instagram. And let's see what we got. Andresito's gonna be joining us. Andresito's eating, don't mind him. And also in the cheese mix, he loves cheese mix. Okay, I guess one of the questions that we got asked, this is from a friend of ours. She said, what's something surprising that you learned about yourself as a parent so far? Um, something that I've learned about myself is... Um, how about you go first? <laughs> I think I learned that like it's important to ask for help. Honestly, it takes a village. Like, I shouldn't be scared to ask for help. It's one of the hardest things for me, personally, because I don't like asking for help, but I feel like it's needed. Like, sometimes I just need a break, or I just I just need help with him. Like, it's not easy doing this alone. Like, to answer the question in your way, you learn that it's okay to ask for help? Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I think something I've learned is, uh, I think I've learned to take a lot more responsibility with the baby hands on because I never thought I was going to like actually like be doing all these things, you know, like changing diapers and making food and waking up and not sleeping like. Like you're very hands on. Yeah, like something I guess I learned was to be more hands on at home and with the baby because I never thought I was going to be this hands on. Like I never knew to be this hands on, you know. Honestly, I, I was surprised too. Like, I'm really thankful you are though, because it's a lot. It's a lot of work, honestly, but I think it's worth it all the way to 100%. Yes. Love, puppy. I told you he was going to get comfy on me. Another question someone has asked us right here, this is a good question, by the way, Okay. is how do you keep the spark alive between both of us? Me? Yeah, how would you keep it or how do I keep it? How do you keep it? I guess by like, I feel like by doing little things like. I think it's important when you have a baby to um, actually like, how do I explain this? I think it's important when you have a baby to actually surprise your significant other with yes. little details. You know, it doesn't have to be a gift all the time. It could literally honestly just be like a nice gesture or just like something something to let them breathe a little bit you know like something i like to do for Miss yonke is um and guys this is something i hate doing is sometimes I, I just bust out and start washing dishes and start washing bottles and stuff like that and it's just something that i feel like she can appreciate and will i mean it'll reciprocate back to me you know what i mean um just honestly doing little things to make let's say your day easier my day mm -hmm. easier those things like honestly I love them because it's like little things that oh he's thinking about me I'm thinking about him like sometimes you come late home oh, oh, oh. you come home tired yeah. and you like your feet hurt a little massage you know a little or like you come home dinner's cooked already you know like shh, that's the best nice warm meal yeah honestly I think it's just being thoughtful of the other person that's what really keeps the spark alive once you have a baby yes. because it does get to a point where it's like it's called like the roommate stage or something. Yeah. You know, where you guys are just like living together with the baby, but we don't want to just live together. We want to have a yeah. life together, you know? So just including each other in our lives and just being thoughtful and just trying to make the other person. Life a little easier. Just, yeah, just trying to make their life a little easier. I think maintains a lot of that spark. So Ooh, also 
playing around. I feel like that's kept us. Oh like, yeah, we like to play fight all the time, guys. Like yeah. honestly, I just come over here and I'll she start beef with her. Me. I'll start beef with her just for fun, just so she could kick my ass a little bit. Well, I mean, it gets a good laugh out, you know? yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, like it's fun. Like let's we need it a little bit. And sometimes she just, you know, we just have built up. Oh, oh we just have built up anger that we need to like. Not released like in a we're bad not, way, like, but like hitting each other like no, no, that like, like we'll be we'll just like play fighting. Yeah, like play fire bully each other, you know, like in a cariñoso way. Yeah, like fake toxic. Yes. That also keeps the spark alive. It's just fun, honestly. We like to be fake toxic sometimes. Bless you. Oh bless you. Bless you. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. He's like, He's like <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, baby. Ready for the next question? So this question says, um, are we planning on having any more kids soon? This is a two-part question. The first part is, do you plan on having any more kids soon? Not soon, but yes. Like, Well, I didn't mean like you. I meant like us. Well, <laughs> yeah, but I'm choosing. Well, I'm the one having it. I want at least two more. I know it's hard right now. and We're like going through it. Like probably have guys in my eyes and shit. I don't know. I don't know about two I more. I think it'll but... be worth it, though. No pasa nada, no pasa nada. Just give me a little bit of time, at least, you know? But I don't so, know. I do want more kids, but I don't know how many more. I think for now, more kids is off. It's not off the table. It's just not right now. on pause. You know? Yeah. So, and the second part of this question is, uh, would I get Andresito's face tattooed on me? Ooh, mm. honestly that's up to you honestly i might do a portrait like that'd be pretty cool to do a portrait of him as a baby Aww, but i so also cute. do want to get like his name tattooed on me or i don't know if his name or his little like footprint or something you know i mean his but name is your name so it's like mm -hmm. a portrait would be so nice honestly yeah. oh. hit me up with them good prices if you're a tattoo artist because come on imagine this face on your hey, imagine where would it's i even so put cute. his beautiful face where you wanna go, where puppy? Where am I even put those chubby cheeks? <laughs> yeah, where am I gonna put those chubby cheeks? Another question we gotta ask, babe, is what's one thing... Oh, wait, I guess this is a question for me. Mm -hmm. It says, what's one thing you love about your wife now that she's a mother? It says, mm -hmm. be honest. I wanna hear this one. That's a good um, question. Even he's listening. I mean, I feel like not a lot has changed with us since we became parents. We've been trying to keep it pretty sane, you know, but something that I do like is that um, you're taking more of a mom role on, you know, like it, it's a lot of responsibility for both of us. But like, I really appreciate that. Honestly, like I don't have to go to the grocery store and stuff like that anymore. Like I don't have to do these things that I'm so tired to do after work. Honestly, like I appreciate that sometimes you go during the day or like things like that. Honestly, just. Like, you don't think about it, but it helps me out because I come home, I'm tired, and the last thing I want to do is go grocery shopping or, like, do this and do that and do this, you know? So I love that you're becoming independent as a mom, and honestly, I love it. <laughs> I also love that you're teaching Andresito so much and that you're trying to teach him Spanish. Yeah. One thing I actually love, 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 love is that you're trying to be, speak Spanish to him because we don't speak Spanish to ourselves, you know? And I tell you every day, we gotta try to speak Spanish. Yo sé, pero pues no sé qué pasa, cuz. Es que mira, en el trabajo todo el día, ¿verdad? Español, 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 español. En la casa de mi mamá, español, 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 español. Todos lados, español. En mi casa, inglesoni, inglesoni. No. <laughs> no te creas. Spanish. Pero no sé por qué, pues así. Así como me sale. Wow, we gotta try for him. I know. So, vamos a hacer más vlogs en español. Si quieren vlogs completamente en español, díganos por qué nos dejamos caer la greña en unos o dos o tres o cuatro o cinco. Todos. ¿Quién sabe cuántos? Pero Pero si los quieren, nomás díganos. Pero, yeah, that's something I love is that you're speaking more Spanish now. I've always spoke Spanish, just not with you. Not around me and stuff. <laughs> okay, baby. So, now that you're a mom, tell me what it's like, like, in your life. Like, how does it feel to be a mom, like... What's it like? You know what I mean? Give me a life update about your momhood. Honestly, I love mom life. It's it's special because I have this little guy and has its moments. It's not easy, but I love being his mom and I love that I can teach him and stay at home and just love him and care for him because I know it's not possible for a lot of people. I'm super grateful and thankful that I'm able to stay here with him and teach him and just take care of him. And I honestly just 
want to continue to grow as a mom and like teach him more things like he's already starting to like grab things and like kind of like he's teething so he kind of grabs his teething toys he tries to grab his bottles like i love that get i love that i get to live those little milestones with him and like just see everything because honestly it's they grow up so fast he's three months and i feel like he's so big already and he's just he keeps growing every every single day so i'm super grateful that i'm able to be here and just grow with him because I'm still learning, I'm still adjusting, and like, I'm learning as I go. And honestly, I'm like, I get tips from here and there, and I love the advice I, I get, but sometimes I'm like, I just go for my own instinct, and I feel like I've been doing pretty good. As long as he's happy, I'm happy, and he's a very happy baby, so I know I'm doing something right, because he's always cheerful and happy. He loves, like, whenever he looks at me, he smiles, so I know I'm doing something right. Drink water, kids. It's good for you. Okay, Mr. Yoke, how is fatherhood? How is fatherhood? How does one describe fatherhood? Honestly, it's like... It's like the best feeling in the world, right? It, like, feels so good, but, like, you're so tired all the time. The whole time, you know? Like, you're just, you're just grinding it out. Like, you have a reason to grind it out now, right? Like, like all day, you're like, hell yeah, I'm gonna work hard for my baby. But then you're like, fuck, man, I have to work hard all day, every day. <laughs> but it's okay. Like, honestly, I love it, guys. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, being a dad has honestly, has honestly brought a lot of new experiences to my life. Like, um, just good experiences, you know? I never, like, knew what life was going to be like with a baby. And now that I have a baby, it's like, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be initially. It's a little bit hard because you're tired, you know, sometimes you get exhausted or frustrated, but like, it's honestly like pretty simple, like feed him, shower him, change him, play with him, burp him, burp him and that's about it. It's just a little cycle about what, how he wants to eat or like what cries he does for what, like, you know, you have to be on a routine, like a sleeping schedule. Um, my whole life is scheduled now. So like I come home, right? I already know it's dinner and then play with the baby for like an hour and then he takes a nap and then in that little nap we try to do as much as we can as possible because he wakes up and then for like another three hours we're just playing with him like trying to keep him awake so he could sleep through the night and then bam like around 7 30 he falls asleep again and then he's been sleeping through the night so i'm so glad well, last, last night last night i did have to wake up about two in the morning and just feed him but i mean i wake up like at 3 30 for work guys so it's not like it's a big difference for me you know but um it definitely is something different in the morning like you wake up you're holding your baby you know before you go to work you're all happy your heart's all warm and stuff you know at least today i woke up i had the baby right here in my arm and i was just cuddling him it just makes it, it makes you feel good like a sense of goodness in your heart so Honestly, fatherhood is the greatest thing. It's the greatest gift anybody could ever have. I do have a lot of friends right now that are about to have some babies. So Play congratulations, game. guys. And if you're watching this vlog, honestly, I just want to tell you guys to tough it out. And see, middle of exit, bro, because it's hard. I'm tired. We're all going to be tired. But oh, hey, we're going to have play dates. We're going to build cars together. And hopefully our kids get to grow up together. So that's the best part about fatherhood for me. A little family. He's eating his hand a lot now. Teething at its max. Yes, guys, he started teething now, so um, he's been extra fussy. Like, he literally cries all day sometimes, and it's like we try to do everything we can, right, to kind of distract him from it. Mm -hmm. But it's just, I guess it must be painful in his mouth because he just wants to eat his hand all day and just makes grunting noises all day. Yeah, he's not like crying, he's like kind of like whining. Too fussy, yeah. Like, like, he wants to just be hurt held and like cuddled he wants to have his little teen toy he loves sitting down now he loves to sit down like he loves being like this he, he doesn't like laying down for some reason like look at this guy he's just chilling <laughs> and he's like moving sometimes like we put him like this standing he's like full his on legs standing. are so strong already guys he almost stands already yeah like i feel like he's gonna walk pretty 
so like pues tiene much better legs como no como no those. something that's also very real after having a baby is i'm not gonna lie you get kind of like like postpartum depression not just moms but dads too a little bit i feel like i'm not gonna lie I've, i've been feeling a little bit down but it's not because like my life's is sad or anything like that yeah i feel like you just kind of get depressed like i've been feeling depressed but i think it's mostly because my life has changed so much that from one thing to another like i used to be out guys you know all the, all the time troqueando like my life was literally living like in the streets my life was literally like you know just thug life homie i love fucking <laughs> going now going to the meets going to races just doing random things going to violets kickbacks and all that stuff you know once you become a parent all that stuff changes and your whole responsibility is literally sitting right here in your lap like my whole life now is dedicated to this little baby Oy. and it's not sad but it does make it it does make you feel sad sometimes because you're like dang like you get fomo you know you get yeah FOMO. i feel like real. we're like postpartum depression comes from is mostly like that like you miss your old life because of the big drastic change that yeah. you come to but not like in a bad way like this life is beautiful and i'm so grateful for it like it's amazing you just like miss that old life sometimes you know it's, yeah it's not so much that you miss it it's just that it's like a hard transition yeah you know? because it's literally from one day to the other like one day you're just pregnant but you're still doing everything fun and the next day you're having a baby and it's not like you can't just leave the house in five minutes anymore you know you can't just be like yo let's do this and go like now you have to be like yo well let's do this but we got to prepare this for the baby take some clothes take some formula take extra water we have to make sure we have diapers we have to make sure we have everything loaded in the truck before we can even leave the house he has to be fed he has to be changed and sometimes honestly that takes so much longer than just getting ready like we'll yeah. go places and we'll spend three hours getting him ready and we'll spend like 20 minutes getting ourselves ready because it's a lot so it does become harder having a baby like in that sense you know but i guess that's where some of the depression comes too because like you can't just get up and leave or get up and do whatever you want anymore like your life has to revolve around your little baby and everything you do has to be in benefit of them you know so everything kind of scares you everything is just kind of like new to you because you don't want to be messing up or i know he's a baby you know but like i don't want to look bad in his eyes i don't want him to look back in these videos and be like yo who the fuck was that guy like i want to be a good example for him for all ever and i just want this little guy to be taken care of and just happy and just live the best life he can yeah come on buffy and honestly for all the moms out there, if you're feeling postpartum depression, honestly talk to someone. It's, it's, it can become pretty dangerous and it's just, it puts you in a dark place. So make sure you talk to someone, your doctor, a friend, your mom, anyone. It's just your it's spouse. important. Yes. I know sometimes it's hard to talk to your partner about these things. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard for us to talk about it sometimes because you know we're both going through the same thing, but we help each other out. And honestly, I, I been like it helps me out talking to you a lot because i feel like sometimes you already know what i'm feeling you know yeah like i think it's just a part of actually like connecting with your couple and just helping them help you and you helping them get better you know yeah like communicating what you're feeling because honestly i feel like that's kind of helped us a lot too just yeah talking about how we feel that way like even I can't just, just like assume, you know? even just like sometimes it like just saying like i'm just so frustrated right now like i just need five minutes or i'm just so tired i just need a nap like yeah. those little things honestly they just help so much because you'd be surprised how cranky you can get like right before a 15 20 30 minute nap you know like you take a little nap sometimes you're just like damn that's what i needed like especially if you're like like i take most nights because he works and i like i want to do that because he already works all day so i feel bad but he helps me on the weekends but sometimes it just overtakes me because I'm just so tired and I just need a little yeah. nap, you know? And sometimes, honestly, guys, like, I know even though I work, like, sometimes I try to wake up at night and help her out still. Mm -hmm. And vice versa, you know, sometimes she'll take over, like, I'll come home from work beat, bro. Like, straight up, I'll just come and pass out. And she'll just take care of the baby. She won't fuss and she won't say nothing. But <clears throat> I think it's just a part of, like, 
taking on that role as a parent, like you have to be understanding and you have to really be like considerate of the other person because yeah, and you're both tired. You know, you're both tired. You're both going through it. Like it's not just a one way street. It's teamwork. Like sometimes I'm a twenty and you're an eighty. Sometimes I'm fifty, you're fifty. Like it's never gonna be fifty fifty. It's gonna change. Yeah, it's never gonna be fifty fifty, guys. So yeah. like you just have to be okay with doing a little bit more sometimes, you know. And it's not even that you're doing more. I'm doing more. It's just like just do what's right you know like do what help each other out do what's gonna make you have a happy home in the yeah. end of the day you know like honestly like, communicating has like we don't fight i hate fighting first yeah. of all so communicating is really important to us yeah exactly but sometimes guys we have some deep talks like it's just us you know we'll just be here shedding tears or we'll be happy or there's a lot of different feelings that comes in one talk, you know. Sometimes we go through, like, ten different emotions in one conversation. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta cry it out, too. Like. Yeah, it's just a lot, but don't be scared, guys. You know, there's a lot of parents, and there's parents to be, and parents that have been, and there's a lot of people that have knowledge about how to raise babies and how to take care of babies, and, you know, you guys, sometimes we have questions that I'm like, bro, like, I'm pretty sure I can just ask my mom or my sister or your mom or anybody, you know, like, you don't have to get scared with every little thing that happens to a baby because, I mean, their babies are learning, you know, like, right now he's eating his bib, that's fine. It's helping just him let him do what he does because, you know, he's a baby. He knows what helps him feel better. And also following your instincts, like, you're, you're going to know what your baby needs. Yeah. Also, guys, this is not, like, a update or anything, but one thing I hate is, like, um... Uh, like I'm taking care of my baby right here, right? He's all calm, and then someone comes and then tries to tell me how to take care of the baby while he's already like calm and shit. Like, yeah. Or like if I'm doing something and they're like, like it's okay to comment and stuff, but like don't, don't try to parent other parents. If that makes sense. Like that's something that kind of irks me. Like, it takes a village, but to a certain extent. <laughs> like I appreciate advice and tips all the time, but sometimes. There's just some things that are a little outdated or like... Or like we have like... I don't know. I don't... We're not picky, right? But like... Say we have like a rule like, oh, I don't know. We want to have his hair all the way combed to this side. And then somebody will come and they'll be like, but why? Just comb it this way. It's fine. Like stuff me, like that. it's like, please do not kiss my baby. I will... Like, <coughs> the number one rule. No one can kiss the baby. Except me. Like just us because <laughs> literally... There's a lot of stuff out there, and it's just not safe. Yeah. And also, there's a lot of advice to, like, let him cry, let him soothe himself. I just... I, I feel like you need to do what's right, because yeah. sometimes you're like, okay, he can cry it out for five minutes. But then you're like, all right, now, how am I just going to let him be crying his eyes out? I feel like he's crying for a reason. He needs something. Like Yeah, like, babies always cry for a reason. Like, yeah, no. he's not just going to cry for yeah. no reason. Uh, and Desito loves to sit up now, so... And he doesn't really cry. It's only, like, when he needs something. So I'm like, I'm not going to just let him cry. He's getting really smart. I feel like he's going to get smarty pants. He's very curious. Tries to grab everything now. His bubbles were falling like crazy. <laughs> he's oh, crazy. he burped. <laughs> and, he, like, any noise he hears, he's like, where's it coming from? He's very <sighs> light. And I love that he grabs his hands like this. Looks like a little boss. A little boss, baby. Look at him. He's just thinking about what he's going to do next. I don't know. I think life with a baby is the best thing that could ever happen. It's an amazing It's like a joy that, like, nothing can bring you. Like, bro, you can have any car in the world, and I don't think it will make you feel the type of love that having a little baby feels. You know? Yeah, like, it's like a different type of love, like... Especially when he grabs your hand, bro. Like oh sometimes I'll just be chilling like this, and he'll hug my like, arm. Like that. And he just like, feels like so warm. Like look at him, he's just grabbing me. He loves to cuddle. His barbell's all wet. What's the hardest part about becoming a parent? You think? Honestly, it's. I think it's the how your life changes, like, like drastically. Like it's completely different from what it was. I feel like that's been the hardest for me because like, think that's the hardest for me. Adjusting in the beginning was hard. I'm not going to lie because even working 20 hours a day is not as hard as transitioning your life like that. Yeah, like, it's a whole, like, life change. Like, it's like, amazing, but it's it's hard. Yeah. Like, I worked long days before, right? That was just for fun. <laughs> like, now I do it for the baby, and it's like, fuck. Like, this is real life now. Like, 
my life is literally like sometimes you have to work double shift so you can feed the baby before it was like i work a double shift like i'll just buy some truck parts or whatever you know like now it's like no like do it for him like your life changed bro nothing is the same anymore like nothing is the same bro you know the biggest like one of the biggest things for me was i already felt guilty spending money on myself i feel so fucking bad like so bad now when i spend any money on myself that's like dad guilt to the one million, bro. Because I'm like, oh my god, I'm so selfish. I'm like, I I'm wanna... an asshole. <laughs> okay, I think you feel it way too much. I feel buddy. it so bad. It's because you rather buy stuff for him. Like when I go to the store, I'm like, what can I get him? Like I'd rather you guys have everything you need in life. You know, like I'm cool with the sandwich and some chips. No, I'll be fine. But I just want you guys to have everything. It makes me feel so guilty sometimes. That I'm like, fuck. But it shouldn't, really, you work so hard. I know, like, I know, but, like, even if I only spend $30 a week, I'm, I'm like, damn, that's a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, but fuck. But you shouldn't Imagine feel like that. Imagine $30 a week, what I could do with that. Honestly, $30 now is, like, five bucks. I know, bro. Like, inflation. Raise our wages. Nah, inflation has Raise our up. wages, but not inflation. Ooh, I'm gonna make a t-shirt like that. <laughs> Raise our wages, but don't inflate us. It up, puppy, because you want to buy a house one day. Yes. All right, we switch sides. We had to change the little. Someone hit up. Oh, oy, sorry. Oh, oy, oy, andan enseñando mucho, andan enseñando mucho, compa. <laughs> That's better. That's better. What's the hardest part of you being born? What's the hardest part of your day, huh? Uh, drinking so much milk. Um. Just screaming all day, kind of hurts your throat a little bit. Communicating because no one understands me. Yeah, sometimes my foot's itchy, but everybody thinks I'm just hungry. <laughs> they just feed me every time <laughs> I'm itchy. <laughs> what would it say? I wonder, like. You think he gets itchy? I'm pretty sure. Everyone gets itchy, you know? Yeah. I feel like sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I scratch his back and he just like. <sighs> <laughs> I do that to his head because he be scratching his head a lot, so I'm like, let me help you he out. Like, he like pulls his hair back here, so I scratch him sometimes, and then he gets all calm. Let I call myself. <laughs> See? He's oh, trying to communicate. That's how you feel? Well, maybe we won't scratch you then. You can scratch yourself. He's like, I can do it. Ain't it? No, he wants to be with mom. Mm-hmm. One tip I would give is to talk to your babies, like... Oh, yeah. Talk to them normal, like... Yeah. You can baby talk them, obviously, right? But the more normal you talk to them, guys, I guess it's better for their uh, development and for their speech, you know? Like, if you're talking to them like a baby, like, they kind of think that's how the words are, but they're not really like that, you know? No, so they're, like, the more words they hear, the more they'll learn, you know? Yeah. Um, we do have a little set of books... Yes. I want to get him more books. I, when I was little, I didn't read a lot of books, but I'm really good at reading. I would read a lot at school. And I felt like that, that helped me a lot. Like, I, like, every night, I try to read a book to him. And honestly, he loves when I read to him. You're going to be a... You're going to be a, a reader? You have to expose them to a lot have, of new words. They got to have a lot of imagination. Yeah, you're going to do arts and crafts and read. Something that I want to inflict for him is less screen time and like, I know he's gonna have screen time, every kid does, but like, I want to try to have him read more books and draw and Be color, outside. play with toys, go outside, like I really want those. Que comas tierra, gusanos de todo. Okay, not gusanos. Que te eches arena en el pelo. Like I want him to be a kid kid, you Like know? I want him to have dirt between his toes. I want him to come inside and be like, mom, I fell in the mud. <laughs> I'm gonna be like that. I want to take him to Mexico so bad, you know, just let him be wild. I want him to be an outdoor baby. Like, yeah. I want to be outside all the time. Like, I love being outside, so I want to... Le quiero inculcar eso, you know, que le gusta estar afuera, en la tierra y todo eso. Que no, que no sea, like... Delicate. Sí, que no sea como delicado, you know, like, you could take him anywhere, do whatever, like... And honestly, he does good with the music. He's good with a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, we've gone to a couple parties already, guys. Not, like, party. Well... They're kind of parties. We've been to a couple parties. Yeah. And he does good, like, in the music and stuff. Like, he falls asleep through it. Like He loves music, too. Yeah, he does pretty good. Only sometimes we've had to leave, like, say, my parents' house. 
because he's super fussy but because he's super tired yeah that's only like once or twice i think that's happened so far like last week we went to a graduation party slept through bro we stayed till like almost two in the morning yeah he was just the music was banging bro like loud and this guy <laughs> literally <laughs> he was so just proud of you, losing, bro. this is honestly just a little life update um we hope this helps you guys i know some of you are becoming new parents or you're just there or you're just barely became new parents so we just want to say we're all in this together guys um a lot of the feelings you guys are feeling and a lot of the emotions you guys are going through we probably already went through them and are going through them as well so feel free to hit up our instagrams guys i'm gonna plug them down here yeah. that way if you guys have any questions about parenthood or stuff like that like we're not pros by any means you know yeah. but uh we could try to help you guys with whatever uh we've been parents for three months now mm -hmm. so we got a little bit of experience and honestly it's just a learning thing so don't be scared to ask questions guys don't be scared to talk to your partners about your feelings or talk to us if you guys want someone to talk to yeah we're always there hit us up guys um hit us up in our dms like i said so do not be shy guys comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see if you guys want more podcast type videos like this we can definitely set something up too where we could talk about um you know topics every week once a week or something like that but we haven't done one of these videos in a while where we just sit down and talk to you guys and i think it's kind of good just letting all this out and just talking a little bit yeah i love talking to you guys because i'm pretty sure a lot of other people are going through the same things they might get some advice or just okay, okay, know okay. that there's other people that are going through the same thing you know yeah so don't be scared if you're about to have a baby we just want to say congratulations <laughs> And from the Yonke family, guys, we wish you guys the best. This is your boy, Mr. Yonke. Mrs. Yonke. We got little baby Yonke right here. Yeah. We got little baby Yonke right here. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.